and back to school. Doctors say that parents will play a big part in stopping the spread of the virus. 7 News' Asia Wilson breaks down steps that you should take to keep your kids healthy. Pediatric experts here at NMED Health and school district nurses all say now is the time to pay attention to your child's health and prepare them before going back to school. In just a few short weeks, bells will be ringing at schools all over the upstate. And there are things doctors say you can do before your child hits the front door. Everybody's big worry in general to me is going to be, you know, we're already stretching kind of the healthcare system as it is with the rise in the number of COVID cases. You don't want to add flu or anything else. This is why pediatric experts want you to take control of your child's health by encouraging certain behaviors now. They need to be wearing masks. They need to be social distancing. This will be placed in the health room. All good habits Anderson School District finds nursing services is pushing to. We're going to have visual alerts throughout the school and in the health room, such as posters on hand washing, posters on social distancing. Janice Balding, the director of nursing services for the district, says they have 25 nurses on its roster and substitute nurses ready if more help is needed. We're doing all we can. We're reading every day. We're staying in contact with the school nurse consultant. But the chief of pediatrics at Ann Men Health believes best practices start at home. I think when kids see parents modeling that behavior, they're more likely to kind of um, go along with that behavior and watch closely and act quickly if they show any signs of sickness. We are asking parents if their child or children are sick, please keep them at home. And Med Health and Anderson School District 5 school nurses say that you can contact them if you have any questions about COVID-19 or concerns, or you can visit their website. In Anderson County, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Doctors at Anmed Health say that you should make sure that your child has a flu shot for the fall. And if your child has asthma, make sure they have all medications and inhalers at all times.